And what I love about you is how you have adapted. Um, now, for instance, when you realised you were being forgetful, Wendy used to go and put post-it notes mm. around the house to remind herself of something. And then she got to a stage where you forgot to read mm -hmm. the post-it notes. Yeah. So what did you do next? Well, well then my um, technology took over and my, my iPad and my phone are now going off all day long reminding me to do things. And because I'm on my iPad so often, it's my lifeline, then I always see that message. It's not something yes. I have to find. And that, I found that very interesting, actually, Sonia, because that might be something people watching at home, they either might have early onset dementia themselves or their families are, are taking care of them. That's a good tip, isn't it? Absolutely. We're all and looking you know what, to help each other. You know what resonates for me when you actually picked up a screwdriver and took off your doors? <laughs> um, and, and the thing about it is, is a lot of, a lot of older people themselves fear dementia and they fear what's, what it's going to be like living with it and not everybody can pick up a screwdriver and so why did you take your doors off incidentally because I uh, door, doors are a nightmare for people with dementia because yeah. you forget what's at the other side yeah, yeah. Uh, really? so I took them off so it's all open you can see it, yeah. when, when they again reading your book um, and and I find this sad I find this unfortunate um, you talk about forgetting what's at the other side of the door people who you've known in your life forget you. Mm. Because you have this condition, you believe that certain people fall away because they don't know how to deal mm. with it. That's right, they don't know what to say. It's, it's, um, it's simply ignorance, really, in, in the fact that they have this fear of dementia that yeah. lots of mm. people yeah. have, and they don't n know how to approach it because when they hear the word dementia, they think mm. solely of the end stages mm. and they forget that there's a beginning and a middle and lots of life to live in them in between. It is like you say you're not, you know, suffering with dementia, you're no, living with it. That's right. That's right, yes. Absolutely. And if people continually hear that word, then they're going to think of the negatives implications of dementia. Whereas you know, I'm not downplaying the enormous struggles that we have, but just hearing the word living with sounds so much better. Mm. But you're living on your own. There's yeah. no one in your life. Would it help you more if there was someone in your life? Oh, no, that would be a nightmare for me. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they'd move everything around and I wouldn't be able to find everything. Because <laughs> when things get yeah. moved around, I don't You're so organised, you're so sussed. She is, yeah. She's just a template, a role model now for so many people. She is, absolutely. And, and I think the important thing to remember is that not everybody is a Wendy. No. And, and there are people there to support. Yes. And to remember mm. that if you need that support, to contact organisations like Karen, Errors, like Alzheimer's mm. and like Age UK for that kind of... Well, let me tell you, you're not going to remember this, right? <laughs> but I'm going to remember it because I just want to give you a big hug. You're so happy. You're so happy oh, and you're so you. lovely and you're so inspiring for, so, you. for so many people. You are, and it is, it is amazing to hear you oh. talk, Wendy. And, it, you know, it's a, it's a frightening thing, Alzheimer's and dementia, isn't it? For, oh, you've got it, your it lovely is. daughters, Gemma and Sarah. I have, yeah. Um, so we all need that support. Mm. But yeah. Yes. You, know, you, you talking about how you deal with this and that you're living your life is yes. really so amazing yes, to hear. The, never think of it as the end, because yes. there is so much you can do. Don't yes. think about what you can't do.